Let's return to a story about a theatre company in search of a stage. In the middle of the year, the Free Theatre in Christchurch was kicked out of its premises in the city's revamped arts centre. Since then, the company has been battling to survive at a time when many of the city's smallest theatre companies are struggling to find venues to perform in and are often at the mercy of established players. But with Christmas on the horizon, Free Theatre may have finally found a surprising new home. Our South Island video journalist Logan Church went to meet them. I'm standing in the remains of the former Seven Oaks School site just south of Christchurch's CBD. Abandoned classrooms, overgrown greenhouses, it looks like the cess of the walking dead. It's spooky. But standing here with me is Free Theatre's manager and producer Marion McCurdy. I met her when the company was told it had to leave its old venue at the Christchurch Arts Centre. So we lost our home in the Arts Centre in July and that was a really difficult time for us. Um, it's been Free Theatre's home for the past 36 years. But the last few months, yeah, it's been a time of working on future projects, finding ways to move forward into the future. They looked at all manner of potential homes and performance spaces, including rundown car parks. But that search eventually led here to the old Seven Oaks School. So we've been doing a lot of planning, um, which has been a really good opportunity to find a way to you know, how can Free Theatre survive? But a really key part of what we need is a space. Standing in an overgrown greenhouse, Marion sees an opportunity. Free Theatre is planning a new production called Arts Acoustica, which it describes as an avant-garde theatrical music fair in the woods. Designer Stuart Lloyd Harris visualises musicians and actors performing in the greenhouses, old buildings, under trees. If we tried to turn this into a conventional theatre, it would be it would be nightmarishly hard because we'd have to do all the things that you would expect. But we like to find the kind of gift of the space, and immediately we've got this amazing growth. Um, it's waterproof, so we can be in here, and yet there's there's plants growing underfoot. While the company only has a rolling monthly lease at the moment. Marion sees a bright future here, in a city where being a small company is tough. At the moment, the funding is very much directed towards the bigger, the bigger stakeholders, the bigger companies, and yeah, smaller groups such as ours are really struggling to survive. I mean, we employ one person, myself, at the moment, and so that's the challenge for a company like us that wants to create new um, avant-garde work. Um, we need a home. And having a permanent space is something Marion thinks will be a big help to the free theatre. And it's, it's perfect, first of all, for Ars Acoustica for our next project, um, but we're also looking at, at it as a potential for a future home. Arts Acoustica, with help from the Christchurch Symphony Orchestra, will be performed in the new year. But in the meantime, there is a lot of work to do to turn this old, dilapidated school into a theatre. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Logan Church.